Hello guys, it is Shivam here. In this video, we are taking a deep dive into creating, reading, updating and deleting data using Flutter and Firebase. So let's get started. But before creating the data, we need to add the Firebase first. So let's move to the Firebase. Give your project name here. So I'm writing crude app here. Now click on continue. Again on continue. Now use default account for Firebase. Click on create project. So as you can see, Firebase is creating a project. So wait for a few seconds. So it is done. Now click on continue. Now I will add the iOS app here. If you want to add the Android app, I will provide you the link of my video in the description box where you can see the complete Android app setup. So we need an Apple bundle ID here. So I will move to the Xcode and copy the bundle identify from there and paste it here. Move to the signing and capabilities. Copy the bundle identifier from here and paste it here. Now click on register app. Download the Google service info.plist file and paste it on Xcode. And make sure it should be Google service dash info.plist file. If anything is written rather than this, then make sure you edit them. Now paste below the info, click on finish, click on next, again on next, next. Now continue to the console. So as you can see, we have successfully added the iOS app. Move to the Firestore database where I need to create the database here and change some of the security rules. So click on the create database button, select the production mode, click on next, again on enable button. Wait for a few seconds. As you can see, Cloud Firestore is setting up the security rules for us. Move to the rules. Now make it to true. Click on publish button. So we have successfully changed the rules here. Now move to the data. As you can see here, in this section, we will create some collection and upload the each user data in the collection. But before that, let's move to the pub dev app as we need to add some of the packages to our app. So I'm writing Firebase core here. Now we need to copy the dependency from here and paste it on PostPackML file. Now we need a Cloud Firestore package because we need to upload the data in Cloud File Store. Now run the packages, wait for a few seconds. So it is done. Now let's move to the main.dart file as we need to add two lines of code here to execute the Firebase in our app. So let's move to the home.dart page as you can see here we will create or write the each user data like first name, last name, age to the Firestore. After pressing on the create button, it will upload the user data to the Firestore database. But before that, we need to write some of the functions to upload the data to the Firestore database. So I will create the function name upload data.
Now I will write map here. Let me explain why I am using the map here. Basically map is a collection of key value pairs. So in the context string refers to the data type of the keys in the map. Dynamic means the value associated with the keys. It can be anything like string, number, boolean etc. So as you can see the first name is a string and I am writing user first name controller dot text to get the data from each text field in the form of text basically a string. So I will create the file name database dot dot here and create a class name database methods and I will write all the function related to the files to here. The reason for doing that is because when you create a app which contain lots amount of code and if you write the data all there at the same function then it will become something messy. So in my case I used to create a separate page then I call the each function from the class name database methods. As you can see, I have wrote Firebase Firestore dot instance dot collection users. This means that I am creating a collection name users and with the help of set method, I will upload the each user data to this collection. Now let's move to the home dot dart file again and we'll call the function name database methods here. So I'm writing database methods dot add user details and I will pass the map here. So I'm writing the upload data and we'll wait for the function until it is called. But now after uploading the data, we want that the user to get know that the data has been uploaded successfully to the Firebase Firestore. So I'm using a flutter toast package here, which will not notify us that your data has uploaded successfully to the Firestore. So let's move to the pub dev and we'll copy the flutter toast package from here and paste it on perspec ml file. And we need to copy some few lines of code for executing the flutter toast package. Now we'll change the message here and write data uploaded successfully. So it is done. Now we'll move to the create button and wrap it with the gesture detector as we want when the user click on the create button then the data we have uploaded on this three text field that directly goes and upload to the user's collection. Now let's move to the terminal and write some commands. So I'm writing pretend clean here. Flutter pub get to get all the packages. Now we'll run the app on our iOS emulator. So wait for a few seconds. So as you can see we have successfully launched our app 
Now we'll upload the first user data to the Firebase Firestore. So I'm writing the first name here, Shivam. Now last name Gupta and the age. Now pressing on the create button, wait for a few seconds. So as you can see, data has been uploaded successfully. So refresh the page. As you can see, we have get the data of that user in the collection name users and it has a document ID and you can see the first name Shivam, last name Gupta and the age. So we'll try to upload the another user data here. So I'm writing the first name Mahesh here, last name Sarma and his age. Now click on the create button again. Now as you can see the second document has been added successfully. Like this you can add how much user you want. So now let's move to the second part which is a read data. Basically in this part we'll pass the username user first name like Shivam and click on the search button. After clicking on the search button, the app will display the user's first name, last name and his age. So let's move to the database dot file and we need to create a function name get the user info. And one more thing, the reason for using query snapshot is that we need to get the user data. So I'm writing the query snapshot here and we'll pass a string name. Basically in string name, we pass the user first name here. So Firebase Firestore dot instance dot collection and collection will pass the same collection name users and we'll use a dot where function to find the user that matches with the first name we pass on the string name. So we'll write dot where first name is equal to the string name. If it matches then it will give the all the field of that user to the app. Now we'll write query snapshot, query snapshot is to await database methods and we'll call the same method here and we'll also pass the string name so that it can matches with the dot where function and we'll pass the string name here. So as you can see, we have wrote a three string name, first name, last name and age. So we'll get the specific user data, first name, last name and his age. One more thing I want to tell you that, please make sure when you are writing the things in the double quoted comma, it should matches with the same key you have used in the Firebase Firestore. If it will be different what you have wrote in the double inverted commas then it will not give you the specific data and will throw you the error. So it is done. Now we are using a set state function because we need to update the first name, last name and age string here. Now let's move to the search button and we need to call that function here and we'll pass the name textcontroller.text. So it is done. Now hot restart. We'll copy this user first name. So I'm writing the Shivam here. Now click on search. As you can see, the app collects the user data like first name, last name 
and its age. As you can see in the Firestore database too. Let's move to the third part which is update. So in this part we'll update the user's age. As you can see when we have called the CVM age then it is so 23 but using a update function will make it to 25 and will show the same update to the Firestore database. I am adding a string name id because we need to get a specific id of that document to update that specific document. So query snapshot dot docs zero dot id to get that document id. As you can see here, this is the document id what I am talking about. Now let's move to the database dot file and we need to create a function name update the user data. and we'll pass a string h and the id the reason for passing the age and id because we need to update the age to a specific document so i'm passing the id here firebase firestore dot instance dot collection we'll write the same collection name users dot doc in doc we'll pass the specific id so I'm using the string name id and we'll use the fu function name dot update. Basically this function will update our specific field. We'll write there the specific field name. So I'm writing the specific name field name which is age and passing the updated string Now let's call this function database methods dot update user data and will pass the updated user age here. So I am making it to 25 and will pass the ID here. So I am using async await function to wait for this function. Then we'll use a search user function to update the data that has been shown in our app and we'll pass the username so hot restart now click on update wait for a few seconds so as you can see the age has been up updated successfully now it is 25 and same on the firestore database so it is done let's move to the fourth part which is delete. So in this delete function, we'll pass the user name Shivam and when we click on the delete button, then it will delete the document whose first name is Shivam. So let's move to the database dot file and we need to write the function name delete user data. We'll just pass the string id here because we need to remove a specific user id here so same firebase firestore dot instance dot collection dot user dot doc and we'll pass the specific doc id and use a dot delete function to delete the specific id in firebase firestore now write a few function here to call the delete function so a sync await but before that we need to call a search user function because we need to get the id of the specific user whose first name is shivam so we will get the id of that user then we will pass that id to the function to delete his id so 
so it is done now we'll use a same flutter toast function so we can get notify that the user data has been deleted successfully now hot reload and we'll pass the first name of that user click on the delete button as you can see the user data has been deleted successfully now let's move to the firebase as you can see here only one document is left whose first name is mahesh and the document whose name was shivam has been removed or deleted from the file stored database to sum it up you have learned how to work magic with flutter and firebase for adding reading updating and deleting data if you like what you saw do like and subscribe to my channel keep coding keep having fun until then i will see you next time thanks for watching